Well, welcome back to Morning Break. Right, we got something really interesting now. It's tattoos, it's acrobats, it's <laughs> fire, and it's all at the Ships of the Sea Museum. <laughs> Kyle's got a lot going on this morning. Yeah, they, they've all got a lot going on. And if I'm not mistaken, Kyle's going to give us a little look at how this fire situation goes. You see the acrobat behind you, Kyle. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Whoa, what you got going Flame on out fire. there? <laughs> Hold on. We want to make sure you got to see this again. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Oh, my goodness. That. We are on. <laughs> He's yeah, we are on fire uh, for the weekend, if you will, always on Fridays. But we're actually looking ahead uh, to an event that is coming up next Thursday. It will be the opening party for a new exhibit here at the uh, Ships of the Sea Maritime Museum. And it is about tattoos, not aerialists. And you may be wondering why she's up here spinning, why we're playing with fire. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But I want to bring in Molly Taylor, the executive director of the Ships of the Sea Museum. Um, this is fun. That was fun, uh, entertaining. <laughs> and uh, this is going to be a, a really cool exhibit that's kicking off that really plays into the theme of Savannah that maybe a lot of us don't ever think about with this nautical maritime idea. Absolutely. Savannah um, is a coastal city and we have a million people here who maybe are involved in maritime industry, who are not involved in anything maritime related, but who love the coast. And so they've tattooed various nautical maritime ocean sea related things on their bodies. We are celebrating that, and this exhibition is really welcoming all Savannians to come to Ships of the Sea, make it your home away from home. We have awesome, fun things going on all year round, and this next um, Thursday is just the first of many. Kickoff night, opening party, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. at Ships of the Sea to talk about Sea of Inks, um, Savannah Maritime Tattoos, and all the people who wear them. Yeah, so we've got, uh, we have some tattooed people out here that aren't necessarily a part of the exhibit, but part of what will be the opening party, so so give us an idea of uh, why, what we're looking at here and uh, who this is and what, what they're going to be doing next Thursday. Absolutely. This is the Stardust Pixies. They are aerialists and fire jugglers. <laughs> they are going to be our super special um, performance happening twice on Thursday night, once at 8.30, once at 9.30. Um, it will be in this North Garden Assembly Room. So anybody that comes that night, it's $10 entry. We will have a photo... Uh, maritime uh, tattoo photography competition in the garden, bars, food trucks, the Stardust Pixies, um, DJ Jason James doing, um, spinning the music. It's just gonna be a tremendous evening and so much fun. Okay. Everybody come. Okay, so we're gonna talk with Molly a little bit later on here about more on the exhibit and show you uh, the artists that were involved, but I wanna bring in Jamie Failing, who is the uh, artistic director, is that correct? That's correct. Of the Stardust, Stardust Pixies. She's the one that uh, lit my hand on fire earlier. Um, this was very safe. We trained on that. We practiced on this uh, we quite extensively before we came on here. Um, earlier, maybe folks saw you stick this in your mouth with flame. You do that? I do. I eat fire. Okay, so tell me who the Stardust Pixies are and what you guys do. So the Stardust Pixies are Savannah's premier performing arts company. We do aerial arts, living arts. We do fire performance, stilt walking, circus. We do a bunch of different collaborations and different productions. We are so excited to be here with her Ships of the Sea, though, and their first dermal exhibition, Sea of Ink. We are going to be spinning fire that night. We're going to be dancing. We've got a few more surprises, but we'll definitely be enjoying all of the tattoos. Okay, so we want to walk people through quickly through this process yes. of what we did because I've still got it a, a little bit here on my right. hand. We want to get it wet just a little okay, bit so, more. Okay, so we just kind of get yeah, it in there. Put it in Move that around so we don't have too much bubbles on our hands. This hand. is my Friday morning hand massage there. <laughs> and then what's, what is this? This is a mixture of? This is a mixture of propane, um, soap, and water. Do not try this at home. You know, you need training for this. So. Yes, absolutely. Under and she is, she's guided me through this entire yeah, process. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, we then we're light that. we give ourselves a fire source. Okay. And then we are going to grab a small handful of bubbles here. Small handful. And then we're going to light them on fire. All right, so and I'll let you take it away. And then we lift. There we go. And just like that, it's gone. And thank, just like that, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for doing this. This was Absolutely. fun. Uh, we're going to go inside the museum uh, when we come back here on morning break. Uh, no more fire. We're keeping that outside. But we're going to take a look at uh, some of the artwork, the photography that's involved in this exhibit. Uh, there's also portraits of uh, the uh, tattoo artists, local tattoo artists, and also local Savannians who have uh, displayed their tattoos for this exhibit. So we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, with Molly and also the curator uh, for this this exhibit that's coming up a little bit later on in morning break. Guys, I dare you to try it. <laughs>